Hello everyone, welcome back to database project series. Without wasting any time, let's start off with the project. Open NetBeans IDE. Now let's create a new project. Click on file and choose new project. Select Java with and Java application and click next. Uh, we'll name it as project one. Click finish. We can see our project over here, project 1, and we have this main function. Let me close all the other files I had opened previously. Okay, now first open this project 1, source packages, project 1, and this is the Java file that we have. Click on this project. Select new, choose JFrame form. Uh, we'll name it as login. Click finish. So, this will be our login page. First, choose a label. It's just drag and drop. You can choose to type of widget you want from this right panel and just drag and drop it to the JM form. First uh, we name it as a welcome page or a login page. Right click on that and use edit text. Login page. In case you want to make any style uh, changes right click and choose properties here you can change the font style and also the size of the font i'll uh, increase the size to 18 and uh, choose arial to go away and uh, to center align it to center close there you go the size has been increased the style has changed and the alignment is in the, uh, in the center now we have a login page next i'll choose another label and a pass password field Where we can type the password and this will be the name prompt for the password next once we type the password we need to click on a button like to accept the password for that we will uh, take a button in case uh, you don't know the password and you just want to exit then we need another button to exit from the form so we we'll choose another button for exit okay now we have the login uh, heading and uh, let me rename this to enter password and this will be the password let's uh, make it more attractive Okay, enter password and we have the password field. Let's make it empty. Good. Now uh, this is the button to accept the password, whatever we keep. 
so same like the label you can edit text we'll leave it as confirm let's see what is the size of this Okay, this is too big, we need to decrease the size. Let's set it to 36. Okay, that looks good. You can crop off the extra portions. Okay, we have the login form ready. Now, uh, once we click on this confirm, we need to perform certain action. So, to trigger that action, double click on confirm button. We will be redirected to the Java program. This has been uh, re written when the design is completed. As you Keep designing your form the code is automatically generated now we are at J button one action performed which means the name of this button is J button change variable name you can see this J button one so when I click on this some action is performed so that's why we are redirected to this place where the action performed is defined now when we click on that, we need to sub check if the password is correct to log in. To check for the password, we first need to take the password. So for, uh, we need to store it in a variable. So we type our password in this text box. So let's take the name of that. It is uh, named as jpassword field one Instead, we'll give it as text pass so now we need to take the text that is stored in the password field that is this field this the name of this field is text pass so whatever we enter in that field is taken and stored in the variable pass. Now we use this variable to check if the password is correct or wrong so that uh, the user can log in. If string dot equals pass sorry this should be fast and uh, inside the bracket you need to give the password uh, that you want to set for example I'll set the password as Shisham so this is my password so when the user enters Shishank and click on confirm the, uh, the whatever password is typed will be stored to pass variable and pass variable and the if condition checks if the pass variable is equal to Shishank if this condition satisfies let's display a message that your password is correct to show a message pop-up we need a uh, J option panel so let's take that dot show message dialog brackets this dot uh, sorry comma whatever message you want to display uh, the message would be uh, login successful let's log in let's check and login successful 
or there is an error click on this yeah i need to import the j option panel okay once it's imported the error is rectified in case the password is wrong we need to display a error message so in the else part copy this and paste the same but with an error message login and successful okay now let's see if it's working run the project build successful so let's run this login page run file Okay, we have the login page. Uh, let me give as SHA, SHA, NK, and confirm. It says login unsuccessful because I didn't give caps, uh, caps, caps, yes. So let me give caps. Shank and confirm. Login successful. So our login page is working successfully. Uh, this button should exit from the login form. So let's do that. Go to design. Let's rename this first as exit. So when you click that, you need to exit from the project. So double click on exit. The action perform function type exit zero. So that when you click on that button, it exits from the program. So we have another other click on this and it will be imported the error is rectified now let's run this again ok we have a login page just a shank confirm login successful type any wrong password it says login unsuccessful and click on exit we exit from our application so this is how we design our login page. We will continue with the next one. Thank you.